in the grand. So Mr. Campbell didn't want that to happen. So we had a lot of security and keeping the fans off. And I'm sure there was a few that got on the field. But you see what they did outside, right? You know what they do. Turnover call, burn call, burn. You know, they're just excited. I don't know why they'd be burning stuff. Uh -huh. Excited. Try to have a beer, two, three, four, five. They get drunk all my fans up. Sleeping in the, in the ground or something. You know, that's just the way fans have done before I was born. Speaking of the fans, a lot of them are lined up outside this park all afternoon from here waiting to get in. What do you think it is about, about your team that resonates so much still to this day with all these dudes? Well, 84 championship, that's going to be number one. But, uh, you know, there was, there's a lot of players around here that they would love to uh, say hello and thank you for the memories. You know, there's going to be a few that they're just going to, you know, explode over. So, you know, this is their day. This is, this is thank you guys for fans appreciation. So, you know. They don't come about every every, every year, you know. So when this team win one, you'll see the same thing happen again. Roseman just said that he and you went to uh, Tiger Stadium today. And what was that like? Was it just you two, or more guys than that? Well, I took my friend with me. Okay. What was it like being? I know that. What were your impressions? Well, you know, just. The fact that that was the area we played on, I mean, it's a, you know, there, there's no stadium there anymore. It's just an open field, but it's looking a lot better uh, than it did. Uh, you know, you, you look at home play and you think of back, uh, it, does it look the same way? No, it does. Uh, you walk down the first base line and you go out to second base and everything looks a mile. You know, further back, uh, you know, David Roseman and I, we stood on uh, the pitcher's mound. We took a picture for one of the guys up there. Uh, mound looked a mile and a half away. You know, so our age, you know, we're not as young and fast and vibrant as we used to be. You know, age is caught up with us. And, uh, the game is a lot faster than our age. I know it's all gone, but when you stood there, could you still see it? Could you still hear it? Yeah. What are you saying? No, I mean, could you think I'm hearing talk no. off of somebody out there? No, I'm just saying, could you remember, does it bring you back? Uh, yes, of course, of course. You know, that's where I earned my living at. Right there in Michigan and Trump. Uh, had a lot of wonderful moments there in Michigan and Trump. Lost some games where we got our butt kicked up there in Michigan and Trump. So, you know, it was, a, it was a 19 years of a, something I love to do. You know, I, mean, I, I play baseball from, you know, who knows, five, six years of age. I've played with adults when I was 10 and 12. Uh, so, you know, playing the game was never, you know, something that I was afraid to do. But, uh, you know, there was a lot of memorable uh, things uh, that happened there. I saw a lot of balls hit over the roof from our team to the opposing team. Yeah, I saw a lot of double plays uh, turned there between Trammell and myself. You see that, you know, it was a, it was a complete uh, career for me. I enjoyed every minute. Well, that's quick. Do you wish it was more than just a field? Tiger State? Yeah. Well, it should be more than just a field up there. You know, it should be, it should be used. Uh, you know, you got youth around here. You know, they can fix it up and uh, have some big games there, you know, from teams around different cities, you know, coming into the city, playing, you know, the best against the best. And I'm sure those kids growing up would, uh, would uh, appreciate it and uh, leave with uh, great memories that they played in uh, Michigan and Trump also. Do you have any souvenirs or any pieces of the stadium or Oh, I think I may have. I always give half of my stuff away to my kids, souvenirs and things like that to keep. Uh, I think somebody sent me uh, a chair 
think somebody sent me a cinder block or a block or something like that. But uh, yeah, I usually sign it and give it to my uh, my kids, so they they give it to their kids. How old are your kids now? Wow, 34. My second daughter was born today. We won the World Series. We got a 28 year old and a 24 year old. Two grandkids, five and one and a half. Your second daughter was born today on the series. You didn't know that. If I did, I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> what is your two? My second daughter was born that morning at Henry Ford. I slept in the doctor's uh, sleeping quarters, got up, came to the ballpark, we won the World Series, had a few glasses of champagne or a bottle, and then uh, headed to uh, Henry Ford to uh, be with my wife. Two good days work. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that World Series. Can't ask for more. Well, you could, but are you gonna get it? What's her name? Sarah. With an H. Yes. And, and when you tell, when she asked you about that team, what do you tell her? Sarah. Yes. Oh well, let me see. Oh, uh, oh, well. A lot of times, uh, people will ask me uh, about my daughters, and they may be around. And I say, well, this one here, which I'm pointing to Sarah, she was born the day we won the World Series. Now I don't know her inner feelings or anything like that. But she, you know, being a girl, probably just a big old grin comes on her face, and you know, probably just can't believe it. You know. When you tell people about that team, what is the thing you, you tell them the most? Complete uh, team. We had great starting pitcher. We had great uh, players coming off the bench, uh, doing great things, getting big hits. And, uh, we were a solid defensive team. Had Parrish, catching strong on. You know, could work the pitchers, handle the pitching staff. Chet Lemon, center field, you could go get him. So, I mean, our defense was, you know, so and Gibson in right and Herndon in left, they had speed, they could have situation. What made us so good, Chet covered from left center to right center, and he told Gibson and Hearn, you just take care of, stop guys from hit, getting doubles down the line. And I remember many times where it could have been an easy double by the opposing team down left field line, but Hernan was so close that he could go over, get it, get the ball back in the infield, and leave him with a single, come up with a double play maybe later on. So, I mean, uh, you know, center fielder was just did great things for us. You know, outfield was, you know, so that's why I say it was a complete team.